Sinful choices entice us to uproot our dependence on the Lord. You know, this is an everyday kind of relationship with God. It's, it's a war zone out there. How are we going to survive? How are we going to have souls that are flourishing? Well, we walk daily with the Savior, the lover of our souls. He gives us strength and help and perspective that we need. Right? He gives rest for our souls. We walk with him. And sinful choices entice us to kind of set aside that very dependent relationship on the Savior and instead depend on ourselves. In the process, of course, we stop loving God. If you can't love God and love your flesh and your sinful choices at the same time. It's all caught up into the pride that we struggle with. It alienates us from the one who loves us so much. In this, sinful choices wound our souls. So, if you have a wounded soul, yes. Yes. And what's crazy is we do this to ourselves. I have the imagery of the old Western, you know, where the, the cowboy shoots himself in the foot. Right? It's not the enemy shooting him. It's not even a friendly fire, a friend, and a a bullet that went astray. It's the guns in his holster and whether by accident, it had to be an accident, right? You wouldn't intend to do that. He shoots himself in the foot and even though, but it's, even, it wasn't from an enemy, but it still hurts. It's still painful. This is the sinful choices that we make. It's like shooting ourselves in the foot. We've, we do this to ourselves and whether it's by accident or intent, it still hurts our souls are wounded, our lives are diminished, and our focus, right, turns from the God who loves us and the rest that Jesus provides our soul, and it turns to the pain that we're experiencing. 